Hi, welcome to Briones Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're going to show you the top wall drills that you can do to improve your game. Now, let's jump right in. All right, so today I'm here at the Pickleball Kingdom in Chandler, Arizona, and we are going to show you the top wall drills that you can do to improve your game, and you can do this on any wall, and I'm going to show you how you can improve your dinking, your volleys, your resets, your ground strokes, and your overheads. There's a lot of things that you can do to improve your game on the wall. Now, let's get right to it. All right, first things first, dinking. We know that dinking is a very, very important aspect of this game. I like to just start with forehand dinks, and you don't have to be seven feet from the wall. It doesn't really matter. It just depends on how that wall is sending the ball back. Remember, we're just focusing on technique and we're focusing on getting that contact point out in front. So I'm gonna start here with forehand dinks, okay? So just like I would be dinking at the non-volley zone line, all I'm doing is just working on keeping my eye on the ball, staying low, I'm in a good stance, and that I'm just getting clean contacts off my paddle. Right now I just put a line of tape there, just the height of the net, so that I, at least I have a a target or something to see in front of me. And that's what I'm gonna start off with first. Okay, next we're gonna go to backhand dinks and I'm going to do the same thing. All right, here we go. Same thing, I'm making sure I have a clean contact out in front, I'm lifting from my shoulder, okay? So I'm not wristy, I'm not flicking my wrists or anything like that. Keeping my eye on the ball on every stroke and that I'm nice and low. Got those, got my legs nice and low, bending, bending at the knees there. And then just making sure I have good contacts out in front. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate from forehand to backhand and it's gonna look like this. All right. So this is a little bit more footwork now you can do this kind of just standing here at the non-volley zone line without moving your feet or you can kind of work on your footwork and getting that ball in a good spot for you to contact it. Okay, so I'm alternating forehand and backhand. Remember, I'm lifting up from my shoulder, low to high, not a lot of wrist. And that's how I'm gonna do this on this alternating forehand and backhand drill. All right, so now what we're gonna do is dink while we move and it helps work on our footwork and it just is a good warm up to do when you have a wall and when you have space like this. So what I'm gonna do is gonna go forehands to my right and then I'm gonna go backhands to my left. And this can work on, you know, just getting set for every dink, hitting it out in front and work on that footwork, okay? So here we go. So I am purposely hitting it a little bit to my right, so I lead myself. Now I'm going to go the other way. So this is good for just really controlling the ball and you know working on that touch, still working on my footwork and my contact points. So this is definitely something that you can do. So what I just did there is I went right when I was hitting my forehand and I'm moving left when I was hitting my backhand. Now I'm gonna be alternating and moving at the same time, alternating my forehand and backhand. Okay, so this is a little bit harder, but it's a good exercise to do. It's really teaching me how to control the ball so I can get that ball landing in front of me at the same time, keeping my contact out in front, lifting from my shoulder, just like this. So there goes the wall drills that you could do for dinking. Now let's jump right into volleys. All right, before we jump into volleys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so that you could be notified every time we release a new video. Volleys, very, very important shot. Obviously, when we're up at that non-volley zone line, we get a lot of them. So improving this on a wall is very, very important. And, you know, it's, it's one of the best ways that you can improve that shot. 
All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna start off with is forehand volleys, all right? So I just want to hit good clean contacts out in front. And one thing that I do want you to remember is that I'm not really watching the ball to my paddle and watch it hit the paddle each and every time, right? I'm keeping a focal point on the wall here. My eyes are straight ahead. My chest is facing the wall and I'm going to just be making sure that I have good contacts out in front here. Okay, so we're gonna start with the forehand. Here we go. All right. All right, just like that. This is a brick wall, so we may get some funny bounces, but I'm gonna do my best to keep my eyes focused straight ahead, okay? And I'm gonna do my best to contact the ball out in front and hit the sweet spot, okay? So you could go really fast or you can go slow like this, depending on how much you wanna challenge yourself, okay? Okay. Now, um, with volleying, one thing we do wanna remember is we don't want a super tight grip. Okay, I call it um, hand fatigue. Now, when I used to practice on the wall like this, if I had a really, really tight grip pressure, your hand will get tired over time. So we wanna, you know, light to medium grip pressure, and we just wanna push uh, from our shoulders. Now we're gonna do backhands. Same idea here. We're gonna want to make sure that contact point is out in front, and I'm um, having a focal point on the wall that I'm looking at with my eyes straight ahead. Okay, so backhands here. Okay, see every one of my contact points is out in front. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to work on not having a grip pressure that's super tight. I want it light to medium. Like I said, look at my stroke, it's very short. And you can see I'm lifting up or punching out, right? Or pushing out, just like this. Okay. Okay, now, um, if you can't do this, then this is just something that you can work up to. This is like the one, number one thing that can work on your technique and your consistency, keeping your volley short and compact, right? I'm not using wrists, I'm not you know, flicking. It's very, very short just from here to here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate forehand to backhand volleys, okay, here at the wall. And this one is definitely more challenging than the first two, but we'll jump into that right now. Here we go. Notice my footwork is definitely a key thing here. I might have to slide or adjust my feet um, to hit these kind of balls, forehand and backhand, alternating back and forth. I have my eyes straight ahead. Remember, you're not gonna literally be watching it into your paddle because your eyes aren't that fast, right? So I'm keeping my eyes straight on. Even if you have a two-hander, we can do that too, okay? Two-handed volley here, okay? One or two hands, we're going to be doing our best to keep that contact point out in front and keeping that grip pressure not super tight. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna move on to is a pretty advanced drill. It's a double touch drill where I feed it and I hit it off the wall. It bounces off my paddle and then I hit it in the air again off the wall, okay? So this is definitely an advanced wall drill so you can work up to this. All right, here we go. Okay. So. This is a really good one to do, especially if you're working or when you wanna work on your touch. For this one, I for sure want to keep my grip pressure light, especially if I'm trying to let that ball bounce right in front of me, okay? All right. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the backhand side. Okay, I'll start with a forehand feed and then just do this here. Okay, notice how my, when, the, when I bounce the ball in front of me, my paddle face is super open. So that's something to keep in mind because you're going to have to do that and keep it open there. Oh. All 
right? Okay. Now what we can do is go right into alternating. So I can go forehand, double touch to the backhand, double touch. All right, here we go. Okay, this one is definitely tougher. Now, if you practice this kind of skills all the time, I mean, this is really, it's about volleying, but it's really that ball control and paddle control. This is really gonna help in your control up at the net with those soft shots, drop volleys, and just your overall touch at the non-volleys online. All right, last volley drill. We're going to volley while we're moving, just like we were dinking, okay? So on my forehand side, I'm gonna go to my right, backhand side, I'm gonna go to my left, okay? So it's gonna look like this. This is a really good one too. Trying to lead myself towards the right and lead myself back towards the left on my back hands, okay? Again, okay? This is just really good for movement, footwork, hand, eye. That was tough. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go alternating. Forehand, backhand volleys moving up and back. All right, here we go. Okay, so just little steps here. Uh huh. Okay, go ahead here. Ooh, tough, 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 tough there. Okay, okay, like I said, it's really important that. Keep a good focal point on the wall here. Just keeping my eyes straight ahead. My legs are low and I'm in a good athletic stance. So that's really what helps as well. Thanks again for watching this video. You know, if you have access to a wall, it could be any wall at the park, it could be against your garage or whatever you can definitely work on your game no matter where you are. All right, so I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. For a free pickleball workout routine that is guaranteed to level up your game, head on to brioniespickleball.com forward slash workout. Before you head on over there, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we release a new video. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Have this feeling, feeling haven't felt for so long, took a hold